If you'd like to see how I transformed this plain crown royal bottle and added this lovely gold glitter, keep watching this video. Hey so today in this video, I am going to be embellishing this crown royal bottle with some gold glitter. I purchased this gold glitter from Paper Mart for about $9. This is extra fine gold glitter from papermart.com and this is holographic glitter. So it does have hints of greens and a little bit of pinks, pinks in it. So I'm going to be using some Mod Podge glue. You will need a sponge brush and just wipe your bottle down, make sure there's not any dirt or oil on it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to get started. I'm going to apply the glue. I'm just going to take my time and neatly go around the label just like this. I'm gonna go section by section just so the glue doesn't dry up and start to get rubbery. So I'm gonna get started right here. And if you do get a little bit of glue on the label, just go ahead and wipe it off. Now this is going to be another um, Christmas gift for someone and these also make nice stocking stuffers. If you get a smaller bottle or if you have a really big stocking, that will work as well. So I'm gonna start adding the first bit of glitter. I'm gonna pour on a nice amount of glitter. Just like this. Then you just go ahead and you shake that off. I like to make sure I have an extra brush just to knock off any excess glitter. This glitter is so beautiful and pretty and sparkly. So you just continue on by adding the glitter, adding the glue and then adding the glitter. Make sure you cover up all of the glue. And if it's a little blotchy, don't worry about that because we will be adding two layers of glitter. Okay, so you could just go ahead and continue to watch me add on this first layer. Okay, just continue to take your time. And if you need to, use a smaller brush so you can work your way around the label. If you do get a little bit of glue on the label, just go ahead and take a small little toothpick or just something to wipe it off before it dries and hardens up.
Okay, so the first layer of glitter has dried. So what you see me doing now is adding more Mod Podge glitter on top of the glue on the first layer of glitter. And don't worry because this glitter does dry clear. So you always want to add a second layer of glitter. It's optional, you can do it how you want. If you're running low on glitter, or if you feel like one layer is good enough for you, more power to you. Just go ahead and just do the one layer, but I always do two just to be on the safe side. So I'm just gonna sprinkle the glitter all over, make sure I leave no glitter, expo no glue exposed. Okay, so the second layer of glitter has now been added and fully covered on the bottle. Now we're going to go ahead and let that dry, then we'll be right back. Is to go ahead and seal the glitter. This is the second coat, it's nice and dry. It is very beautiful and sparkly. I really like this hot graphic glitter. So I'm just going to take a cup, I'm going to put some glitter in it. Just like that, gonna pour a little bit of glitter, I mean glue inside of it. Just a, oop, a little bit, I put probably too much. But you can just kinda eyeball it. Then I'm gonna put a pinch of water. Just a pinch. Give that a nice stir. so that it won't be as cloudy and it'll have some of the glitter in the coating. So that way it should be as sparkly as we can possibly get it. So you just go ahead and cover up all the areas where you put glue so we can make sure that it's not falling off all over the place. Now you can go ahead and seal this however you feel. Um, I've heard of people using um, hairspray. I've never tried that before, don't really want to. Or there are different acrylic sprays, clear acrylic sealant sprays. I've tried one before, I had to spray so much of it. Um, and I feel like it made the glitter look extremely dull. Um, if you do this with too much water in it, it'll dull this out as well. So you just wanna make sure you make the right mixture. And then there's some people who have a special um, mix they use they just don't tell exactly how they seal it because they may do this for a living and they don't want people to know but this doesn't it doesn't make me a difference um, so this is just the method I've been using if you know a better method a more efficient method or a way to make the glitter still be extremely sparkly the way it is without anything on it or a different glue to try out I'll be glad to hear about it and try it out. This method is not like it's set in stone. But you definitely want to go ahead and just cover up all the glitter. And I would say let it dry at least 24 hours, but you can let it dry less than that if you have like a really good fan, like a floor blow um, air dryer or just a regular little fan and let it just dry. Okay. 
because you don't want this glitter falling off all over the place. And so far, this method has worked for me. So this is the final result of the Glittered Crown Royal Bottle. And the bottle, I don't know if you remember, it did have some textured designs in the plastic. So this is not just lumpy uh, glitter. This is actually the pattern of the bottle before anything went on it. So this is going to be a nice little stocking stuffer. I like the gold on the Crown Royal bottle. You can choose to do any color you like. This also makes a great birthday gift as well. Well, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you were inspired and received some cool inspiration or ideas for something you wanna do for yourself. And here are a few other items I wanted to share with you. This was um, a big order from my customer. She wanted to give her family and friends some really cute different gifts. Let me know which one you like. Um, the best. I, of course, like the Don Julio bottle. Um, I really like glitter, but I prefer rhinestones over it any day. And I just think that these are all wonderful customized gifts. I can definitely see why some people don't seal their glitter because, as you can see, it's not as sparkly as it is before you add your sealants or your sprays or whatever it is. It just does not have that same look as that fresh raw sparkly glitter but it's and I do have a playlist with videos to all three of these bottles if you'd like to see the tutorials for those as well again give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and happy holidays and many blessings to you all bye bye